You got this new iPhone 15 Pro and you recorded in ProRes Log and you ain't got no freaking clue how to color grade it. Let me help you out. Let's get it. What up, y'all? Tyson here, Terry Wolf, and I'm back for another video. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Hey, remember to be thankful for your life today because you did not have to have that on with the meat potatoes. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to color grade your iPhone 15 Pro ProRes Log footage. I'm not about to keep freaking saying that log at this point in Final Cut Pro. So, let's get right into it. How do you get this log footage or ProRes log footage off of your iPhone after you shot it? There's three different ways you could do it. Number one, you could use freaking AirDrop, which right now is insanely slow, but it works. The second way you could do it is if you have Final Cut Pro open, you can plug up your iPhone directly to it via USB-C and then you can import all your footage that way. That's the easiest way. The third way will be if you record it to an SSD or like to an SD card, which you can do if you haven't checked out my USB-C video, it's right up there. But if you did it that way, you could just plug it up and transfer your footage off of it that way. Now the next thing is, I'm gonna assume that your Final Cut Pro is updated to Final Cut Pro 10.6.9 or later. And if you haven't upgraded for some reason, maybe you don't have an internet connection, no storage, maybe you're still running a cracked version, whatever the case may be, I'm gonna show you another way that you can get this done. Now if you've never seen what freaking log footage looks like, this is what it looks like on the screen. It's super flat and the reason for this is so you can color grade it yourself in post and this is what it looks like and I'm trying to make this super simple for people who have no clue how to do this okay so with that being said if we just you know scroll through these clips you'll see they're very very flat and they look super super washed out now when you import log footage off the iPhone into Final Cut Pro is going to change it from this super flat look to what's called a Rec 709. So a normal working color space that we all used to seeing, right? Now for example's sake, I turn this off because I want to show you how it works, but it's going to do this by default, okay? If we tap on one of the clips and then we go to our inspector window, which is in the upper right hand corner, we press the info button, we are presented with some options, okay? Now what's important is right here, you'll see a drop down and this is your metadata field, right? We want this to show general. So I'm going to click on general and then scroll up just a little bit. Now in the middle of of this list, we see what's called camera LUT. LUT stands for lookup table. On import, this is going to be Apple Log. And as soon as that's selected, and again, this is automatic, you can see instantly, now this looks like a normal image. It doesn't look like that flat washed out look anymore. Now, again, if you have Final Cut 10.6.9, this happens automatically. If you don't, I'm gonna show you a workaround. And I prefer to use the workaround because to be honest, the Apple Log conversion for me, doesn't handle the image the way I want it to, right? So it raises the contrast a whole lot and it really blows out the highlights in a lot of scenarios. So I made my own conversion LUT, which will be free using my Patreon link down below. As a matter of fact, everything I talk about in this video, you could get freaking off of my Patreon, okay? But this is your starting point, okay? If you just wanna use Apple's built-in workflow, then boom, and I'm not saying that this is a bad workflow, okay? Now, once you have it converted, then you can go do your color adjustments. Now I'm gonna strongly freaking recommend to you adjustment layers, which again, this will be free on my Patreon, okay? I'm gonna show you what adjustment layers do if you've never seen them. DaVinci users, y'all ain't gotta worry about this. Premiere users, y'all ain't gotta worry about this. Final Cut, for some reason, they don't freaking include it, so I'm gonna give you one for free. So I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna grab an adjustment layer, and I'm gonna drag it right on top, okay? Now, adjustment layers allow you to make global changes to anything that's beneath them. Terry, what on earth are you talking about? Okay, I'm gonna give you an example. So, right now I have this adjustment layer, and I'm gonna put it on top of one clip, and I'm gonna do something just like, I don't know, I'm gonna crank up the highlights for no reason at all, okay? Now, if I take this adjustment layer and I drag it over the other two clips, as you can see, now these other clips also get the same treatment that I gave the first clip because an adjustment layer gives whatever's below it all of those attributes. But you could use adjustment layers for anything. You could put sound, effects, noise reduction, sharpening, color things. You can even stack them so you could put multiple adjustment layers on top. Do yourself a favor, use them, okay? But the first thing I'm gonna do is actually go through on these clips to just get them exposure corrected if they need it. Not all clips will need it. You'll have to do this on a clip by clip basis. I do recommend doing your exposure adjustments individually by clip because every single clip has different 
exposure, right? And uh, an adjustment layer won't necessarily work for all of these clips that need a, di a different exposure value, okay? I'm getting tongue tied, but you get, what the f you get what I'm trying to say, okay? Now remember, I use the Apple Law conversion for this. So I'm, I'm only doing this for example sake so you can see, and I'm gonna show you the other workflow also. But I'm gonna go ahead and choose Apple Log on this one. And again, this happens by default. I'm gonna go ahead and lift the shadows on this, push in some saturation, bring up the highlights a little bit. Actually, let's bring down the shadows a little bit, and then we'll push some more into the midtones. And then, same thing on this, we'll go to Apple Law Conversion, and then same thing. A lot of these clips were underexposed, this was my fault. But these are just general color adjustments, okay? So boom, all of these look fantastic. Now from here, if you wanted to, you could just use an adjustment layer to put on like a custom look or a custom LUT, and I'll show you how to do that real quick using the built-in LUT tool. So let's go down here to effects, we'll type in LUT, and then we'll drag custom LUT. I'm gonna put this on the adjustment layer so that I could just drag this on top of all of those clips to give them all a similar look, right? And then I'm gonna go to custom LUT, and I'm just gonna select the look to show you this, okay? Carnegie, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you what these are in one second, but as you can see, this is way too strong, so I'm gonna dial back the mix on it just to give it a stylized look. So, custom LUT off, custom LUT on. You can use these all you want to, use any LUTs you want to, but I'm gonna show you mine in one second. Okay, so that is the regular workflow through Apple, and again, there's nothing wrong with it, it works fine, but I prefer to do it a different way, and I explained to you early in the video how I don't like how the Apple Law conversion kind of handles things, especially in high contrast scenarios where there's a lot of highlights, a lot of shadows, and all of that stuff is mixed together. So I made my own custom Rec 709 LUT, and it's free, it's on my Patreon, but it brings back some of that contrast, it adds in some saturation, and it protects the highlights. And also, I did make some custom looks that I wanna show you real quick. Now the power of these LUTs that I created, they are a color space transform, so they're gonna take your footage from standard to Rec 709, but at the same time, they're gonna put a stylized look on it. So all you need to do is select one LUT and adjust everything to taste. Now once you have these LUTs downloaded to a spot of your computer, we're gonna go to our custom LUT effect, hit the drop down, go to choose custom LUT. Now wherever you save these files to, I wanna show you two things. First of all, if you just want to use my conversion LUT instead of Apple's conversion LUT, we're just gonna hit open. I already have it imported, so I'm gonna skip this part. And from the drop down, we're gonna choose Terry's Rec 709. As soon as I do this, boom. Now, I don't know if you recall the one I showed you earlier when I converted it with the Apple Log LUT, but mine actually adds in more contrast, brings in some of the shadows back because the Apple Log LUT steals the shadows and it blows the highlights out. So we'll put that on there and then you can do the same thing if you want to. You can use any LUT you want or all your adjustments and all that stuff. But I wanna show you the other LUT. So let's go ahead and put Euclid on here. Boom, it's a stylized look. It's already converted. The only thing you have to do is go through and color correct it. So if you're somebody who doesn't wanna go through all of that, you know, trying to figure out what LUT I wanna use, what color do I wanna to have these LUTs have everything freaking baked in for you. The only thing you have to do is select them. Grab those from Patreon if you want to. They're not too expensive, but if you're shooting at Apple Log, they will make life so much easier. Hopefully this video was freaking helpful with showing you start to finish how to get your Apple Log footage off your iPhone to a color graded state, ready to post on socials or whatever. And that's all I got for you today. So till next time out here, peace of chicken, Reese Tyson, or Terry Warford, I'm out. Peace. I think I'm playing chess, I see a king, I met his neck. I'm three steps ahead of every move, now that's a check. Yes, they wanna know my secret, it's because I never slept. All my nightmares of me at 40, life's a wreck. See my dad, he in debt, and my mom, she upset. That's way back when 408 on seminar.